So Jeff, Maddie, and I are going to the grocery store. We, or at least I, am going to attempt to show you some tips on grocery shopping to keep it fit and to keep it clean. Typically, rule number one is go alone. Because the more people you take to the grocery store, the more tempting it is and the more things you end up buying. But I'm breaking that rule today because I need their help. So here we go, to Grover. So in addition to coming alone, I recommend you always have a list and stick to it. And I like to make my list aisle by aisle. However, another tip is I generally shop the perimeter of the store because that's where you find the good whole foods, the proteins, the healthy fats, the complex carbs, and the produce. So here we go. We are in the produce section of Kroger and here you will obviously find vegetables and fruits, but I generally keep it to mostly vegetables and only a tiny bit of fruits, usually just berries and bananas. So I like these green beans right here instead of the canned ones. We've got a portion of cucumber. And some peppers. Always good to have some peppers. you find a lot of healthy fats. One of my favorites is avocado. And the way you can pick them is um, if they're a little squishy, but not too squishy, they're ready to go. The complex carbs too, you can find in the produce section, which is sweet potatoes. I like these because you can just pop these babies in the microwave for like eight minutes and then they're done. Section. A big part of eating clean and eating healthy is protein. Good, lean meats. So we're talking ground turkey, we're talking chicken, and some fish. And a little bit of red meat here and there. Definitely not her. And if you've watched my videos before, you know this guy has to have the fancy chicken from the butcher wrapped in the paper. So that's where we get our chicken. ground turkey because tonight we are making turkey chili in the crock pot. So we're going to get some ground turkey. This is my favorite milk. Not necessarily to drink, but I make protein shakes with it and I also put it in my cereal and all sorts of other different things. Coconut milk and sweet. Now we're down the healthy foods aisle and I find lots of stuff in this aisle, but one of my favorites is this Faye Greek yogurt right here, 0%. Um, I already have a ton of it in my fridge, so I'm not going to buy any more, but this is good stuff. The healthy food aisle flows into the wine aisle. See, wine's not so bad, right? Healthy right foods aisle, um, you'll find a lot of whole wheat spaghetti here, quinoa, brown rice, um, all sorts of whole grain pastas, and my favorite, powdered peanut butter. This stuff is amazing to put in protein shakes, to put in yogurt, to put in oatmeal. It is amazing and the macros are great. If you're ever wondering where the um, flat seed is, it's in this aisle. Uh, all sorts of different types of flours and I'm looking for brown rice flour. And I found the brown rice flour because I'm putting this in my chili tonight instead of normal flour to thicken it up. And you don't want to make protein pancakes, here's a good option. It's multi grain pancake mix. Mm -hmm. So it's in the healthy food section as well. We got to do that. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. But not today. We have a focus tonight? today. <laughs> not tonight either. We have a focus today. We got football tonight. Pancakes and football. Pancakes and football. Who eats pancakes and football? That's something new. You can, you can start that. What is it, Maddie? Dark chocolate. What is that? I haven't even ever seen this before. Turn that, turn that label over. Let me see the back of it. Let me see if I can eat that. It says. All right. So generally, we do shop the perimeter of the store, but of course, there are some things up and down the middle aisles that you need to get. The whole food section and the natural food section is obviously there, and you're going to need things like, you know, oatmeal and rice and toilet paper and such. So 
With those exceptions, you can go down the center aisle, but just stay out of that junk food aisle. This would be amazing if we, if we live in a city with a Whole Foods. Could you then, imagine being able to shop at an actual Whole Foods and not having to try to figure it out? Yeah, well, who's been the one trying to do that for a while now? All right, so we are down the center aisle, but this is where we find uh, brown rice. And I like lots and lots of brown rice. So I guess that we're making this turkey chili tonight, and I'm not generally a chili lover, and especially with beans, but Runyon has talked me into trying it. So this is my first go around with beans. My first time with beans. I don't know what to think. So healthy fats. Healthy fats are oils. Coconut oil is amazing. Olive oil, one of my favorite things to cook with. Great healthy fat. Ready? No. No. None of this. None of this. This is what we get in the cereal aisle. This and this only. Oats. Put them back. What about the these? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> oh. That is good bread. It's multi-grain, 45 calories. It's only, um, look how old I am. It, <laughs> there's only 18 grams of carbs in two pieces of this. So, so no. <laughs> Take it. Hey Maddie, I want to give you props on the cookie dough. Only Pillsbury chocolate chip cookie dough, all right? Yeah, Don't get the okay, another great healthy fat is almonds, which I love. Any kind of nuts really, but almonds is one of the best ones. So um, I usually get unsalted almonds, which are right here. Um, let's talk seasonings for a minute. You can't forget that sometimes these are sneaky little things that'll sneak in and add a lot of sodium to your recipes. So the one I like to use is Mrs. Dash. There's no sodium in it, there's nothing in it, and they have some really good flavors. Where are they? Oh, right here. I gotta scream. What is this? Why? You can call the seasoning guy. Who puts a telephone? Who puts a telephone? Hello? Who puts a telephone? I'll tell you. Hi? Here's some. Here's some Mrs. Dash. This is one of my favorites. And I can't see because there's a phone in my way. Southwest Chipotle. Should we try that one? Yeah. That sounds pretty good. I haven't had that one yet. Eggs. I get tons of eggs and egg whites. I use lots of egg whites because that's where the good protein of the egg com comes from. The egg whites, good protein. The egg yolks is where the healthy fat comes from, which is not bad, but you don't want to eat too, too many of those. So we're going to go get us some eggs and some egg whites. Constantly behind me with nasty stuff. I don't understand. That's not nasty. Just, it is. It's healthy. It is it. There's 31 grams of carbs in here. There's 130 calories, and and there's four servings in this. 130 calories, 31 grams of carbs, and let's go find the sugar. 28 grams of sugars. You think it's for the whole thing, don't you? But it's not. There's four servings in here. So no, it's not healthy. I'm trying to find frozen pomegranate. Okay, so this is another example of why. You should probably always go to the store alone. I came in here for my healthy foods and this stuff to make this chili tonight. And look at my cart. This, not mine. Not mine. Definitely not mine. Not mine. Not mine. See what I'm getting at? Come to the store alone. Right. to the store with us and half the stuff's for her and where is she while we're putting the groceries in the car oh already in the car not doing anything well, one day i'll have to put groceries in the car so. yeah one day you'll have to buy your own groceries mm -hmm.